uplifting your spirit through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional. To be like Jesus, use abilities and means for God's glory. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that had not shall be taken away, even that which he had. Matthew twenty five twenty nine. There always has been, and there always will be, diversity of gifts. It is not the great gifts alone that God requires and accepts, but he calls for the smaller talents and will accept them if men and women will use them to his glory. Have we not become servants of the master by his grace? Is it not then our own property that is entrusted to us, but the Lord's talents? The capital is his, and we are responsible for its use or its abuse. I hope efforts will be made in every church to arouse those who are doing nothing. May God make these realize that he will require of them the one talent with improvement. And if they neglect to gain other talents besides the one, they will meet with the loss of that one talent and their own souls also. We hope to see a change in our churches. The householder is preparing to return and call his stewards to account for the talents he has entrusted to them. God pity the do-nothings them. Those who hear the welcome, plaud it, well done, good and faithful servant, will have well done in the improvement of their abilities and means to the glory of God, who will come up to the help of the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Satan is active, preserving a faithful general in his work, leading on his armies. He had his faithful sentinels everywhere. What are the servants of Jesus Christ doing? Have they the armor on? Are they vigilant and faithful to meet and resist the strong forces of the enemy? Or are they asleep, expecting another to do their work? Let all awake, for the time is at hand when it will be said, He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Just now is the time to seek purity and holiness of character and obtain white robes that we may be prepared for a seat at the marriage supper of the Lamb. To be like Jesus, March 12. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.